Are you looking for a crossbow that's inexpensive, fast, and could get the job done? I think I might have it for you. This might be the best crossbow for the money. What is happening? Yeah, baby! Holy son of a gun, that's a big one! What is up, YouTube? It's Mike from G Outdoors, and today I got a netter crossbow review for you. And you know what? It's looking really good. So I got this crossbow from my brother-in-law, which bought it last year on Amazon for not expensive. And here I am reviewing it for you guys. I'm gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna check it out, see what I like, what I don't like. So straight out of the box, crossbow comes with a quiver, three bolts, they're 20 inch bolts, a four by 32 scope, a caulking rope, which is essential obviously for a crossbow and it comes with a shoulder sling right now i don't have it on because for the review i don't want it in the way and making noise but so far it's looking really good it doesn't feel too heavy the actual weight of this crossbow is pretty good it's at 7.9 pounds and about nine pounds nine pounds with all the accessories the quiver and everything on super cool few features on this is obviously the speed 370 feet per second for nowadays crossbows such a small crossbow it is amazing the best part about this crossbow has got to be the price if you're in the united states it's between two and three hundred bucks you can pick this up and probably less used and in canada we pay a bit more three to four hundred dollars but it's still a lot of crossbow for the money the overall length of this crossbow from top to bottom is about 36 and a half it has a limb to limb measurement of 21 and a half inches and when it's cocked back it's 18 inches that is amazing for anybody who hunts out of a tree stand out of a ground blind or anywhere if you're going in the tick brush after those big bucks you need something that's not gonna snag everywhere you're gonna go and this might be it at 18 inches that's real tiny <gasps> that's what she said it shoots 370 feet per second, super fast for such a tiny crossbow. It has a draw weight of 185 pounds. That's with the 370 grain stock arrows, so that's plenty to get your big game animals down what's super cool about this guys is this adjustable ar stock it is mental with a click of your thumb you could adjust it to five positions and what's super cool so it goes five positions and did you hear that click so if you really want to make sure it's in there it's really good super cool because you can lend this out to a family member to a friend a couple guys shooting will have some friends over you want to have some fun anybody could shoot it because it also has an adjustable foregrip here which is with two bolts you could fully adjust it you could see right there under the stock here you have all the way from here all the way to the front so it's fully adjustable but i gotta love this ar customizable stock does it shake a bit look it does there's a little plate but what do you want for a fully adjustable stock for under 300 bucks so it has a cool uh, safety mechanism when you cock up the rope it automatically puts the safety so as you can see here this is the dry fire the anti-dry fire we got the safety i don't have an arrow in i'm gonna put one in just in case so as soon as i put that it went it knew that there was an arrow so it disengages the auto dry fire that was a turkey guys i don't know if you heard that but so here we got the safety on and off on both sides is the same so it's for left-handed or right-handed and look how easy so the safety's on safety off on off you guys hear that sound cool feature about this crossbow it does have that auto safety when you pull it up it leaves it on automatically i love that feature plane Give me a sec. Come on. No respect, these planes are always bothering us. I need, where's Marco to scream at the planes for me? Marco! Oh, we're looking at oh, oh. three and a half pounder, folks. Probably the same size as the last one. Hey! <laughs> hey, what y'all doing? Are you serious? Fly somewhere else! Grab <laughs> the whole world! <laughs> Sorry, guys. No respect. 
they taught about a bit of everything. Here you got integrated string suppressors to calm those vibrations down and you don't want to be hearing too much of a boing. Has an integrated stirrup here. It's not too big, not too small. Perfect for boot size. Out of the way, but who cares? We put our boots in there. As long as it's sturdy, that's all that matters. You know, you do have the quiver that attaches here on the back. Now, one of the best features for this crossbow is the quad limb CNC machined cam system. For the money, it's so hard to find that in the 300 price range. I don't even think it exists but you know what center point which is crossman by the way guys they give you a lot for your money it's it's really hard to beat this crossbow at the moment the best part of all this is they also offer you a five-year warrant we have a, a trigger over here which you know it's probably one of the weakest points i find on the crossbow it's rated at five pounds about uh, i found there was a lot of slack pulling the trigger You know what once you get used to it it fires dead on every time so it's just something to get used to you know i'm used to with my excalibur a certain trigger it's just a matter of practice like with anything else so here's a comparison test on the left is the sniper 370 on the right is the x340 they look pretty darn close to each other we're gonna put it face to face here so the sniper is a bit smaller but it's a bit longer all right guys gonna show you how to cock this crossbow super easy you're gonna grab the two the two rubber plastic tabs you're gonna go on top of the crossbow right here there's a divot super easy you're gonna grab your one side come all the way down go on the inside of the suppressor then you're gonna grab the opposite side like that okay so once you're like that you make sure on the top once again your rope is there you're gonna do in one solid movement you have your foot in the stirrup and you just pull up till you hear the click so now if you want to decock the crossbow you know it has an auto safety so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it all the way to one side of your preference you're gonna come right here so i'm gonna show you right here you have the anti dry fire you're gonna push it front and you're gonna release the the, the safety and you hold the trigger and that's all it's not always easy to show you inside but this is basically what the rectangle looks like 20 30 40 50 and you'll be able to hit those targets no problem looks like i nicked the top of it right on the top we're gonna dial it in and we're gonna start hitting some bullseyes all right guys so something i noticed with this crossbow uh the scope the scope is a bit challenging when you're sighting it in it takes much more than the usual amount of clicks than it says it does uh like i mean you could do 20 30 clicks to make it move just a bit but uh in general once you got it going it's working great it's super accurate i'm gonna take a couple more shots and i'll definitely be hitting uh bullseye every time from now on all right guys so i spent a good amount of time shooting this crossbow and uh i'm pretty impressed i won't lie my biggest cons that i'm gonna go with that trigger that trigger takes a lot of adjusting there's a lot of slack before it takes the shot is it a, a a deal breaker no not for 200 300 bucks it takes some getting used to yes does it take some practice yes but you gotta practice anyways another thing i didn't like uh, minor thing here i don't really use the quiver and leave it on but as you can see look at this i could slide it back and forth is it a minor thing yes it's nothing to freak out about most of the time Personally, I never have it in the tree stand or in uh, the ground blind. I always have it in my bag with one of the arrows already loose. Another con I've, I've read a lot about this crossbow, it said uh, that some of the screws loosen. Well, guess what? Most crossbows, that's that happens. It's happened to me in the past with one of my Excalibur. So do your maintenance. You gotta lube the rail. You gotta lube the strings. You gotta make sure everything's tight. Make sure the scope is tight and all that. Uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan about the scope either. This, it has a four by 32 scope. It's okay, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's not the worst and it's not the best. It's right in the middle. Like the trigger, you get used to it, but you know what? It's bang on and that's all that matters. Now for the pros of this crossbow, where do I start? <laughs> where do I start? Because the price is 
wow, anybody could buy this crossbow. Just because you're buying something that's inexpensive doesn't mean it's not good. Like in this case, the CNC machine cams, they're fantastic for the price range to get even an option like that. This stock, like where do I, the full adjustability of it, it's fantastic. Even the foregrip is adjustable. Another great thing, I have personally I have some back problems. I've herniated this and you know what? Pulling this back wasn't as hard as my Excalibur. It has more weight, but somehow it's the longer pull, it's smoother. You start pulling and it slides right up. Really love that part of it. I've shot so many times today. Usually I have Marco to pull up my crossbow before hunting. And today, you know what? I did all on my own, really impressed. So if you guys are looking for a budget-friendly, fast crossbow, like, I mean, it's quick. Like you don't even, you don't even see the arrow fly. It's definitely a must to get some lighted knocks on this. But I gotta say, all in all, this crossbow surprised the heck out of me. It's a fantastic crossbow for the money. If you enjoyed this, cr this crossbow review, let me know. You know, it's not always easy to uh, film on your own and, you know, get everything done. But I wanted to show you guys that there is options out there. You don't need to spend a thousand bucks for a crossbow. You can spend two, three hundred dollars and get something fantastic. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up and that subscribe down below. We have full of videos, full of content. Check out our playlist. We'll be back real soon. See you later, alligator. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's review video. If you enjoyed it, let us know. Check out our other content, which will be on my sides. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click down low. Stay tuned for next week's video.